would be astounding. How do we get to that point? Because it takes, see, here's the catch. It takes group economics, right? Because we are, in my humble opinion, correct me and interject as you feel. We are behind the ball in terms of education and finances and, and, and just the totality of this country and, and how it functions. How are we going to accelerate that if we can't trust each other enough to have group economics? Um, we're not really good at group economics. It's called uh -huh. a pyramid scheme. Okay. And it's called a Ponzi scheme uh -huh. when we do it. Got when it. the Koreans do it, it's called group economics. So they, they look at things things differently too. Mm. Um, one of the things when we start, <clears throat> I, what college you go? Did you go to college? Yeah, I went to Whittier. I ended up graduating from Whittier College, but I went to a several prior that. Yeah. So imagine you got that college education in what? Uh, history. Oh. And you use that degree to do what? I became a school, a podcast. school <laughs> teacher. Yeah, I, I, seven years I was a school teacher. Right. Seven years. So. And then you didn't like it anymore. I got I actually got laid off, man. I got laid off and hit it big on a flip. And I've been oh. doing property ever since. So imagine you spent four years in college, uh -huh. seven years still in, in, the, in the reprogramming or the miseducation business. Mm -hmm. And so now you're sitting around 11 years in this and they didn't even teach you how to flip in college. Nope. So anything that it takes for us to make money, they don't teach us. They used to teach us trades. Bishop Omar Johnson mentioned they used to teach us trades. Now they don't. Mm -hmm. My daughter is in private in in, um, in a homeschool. Gotcha. And then she's talking, and everybody's, "What are you gonna do?" She said, "Oh, my pops just put me in the business where I'm gonna be a millionaire." Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, "Oh, nice of your father," thinking I was putting up the money. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I said, "Look at everything you're doing, mm -hmm. and what do you like to do?" She mm. said, I like to do my hair. I like all the different designs. I like when I put hair in. I like some, I, I don't like my hair natural, but I like it when it's not. All right, we're going to be in the hair business mm -hmm. because that's what you really like. Because if you want to go to college after you make your million dollars, it's an institution. You can go. But the whole ego that we have 16, 17, 18, and really, my kid goes to such and such. My yeah. kid goes to such and such. Sure. Proven fact that's a whole bunch of bull is Harvard is now having all of his classes online. It still costs $57,000 to go. So what are you giving me online that I'm not getting from Cal State or from Cal Northridge Thanks. or from Dominguez? What are you, what is in? Let's let's get the spies to steal all of your curriculum, and then let's give it over. Because if if your curriculum is so much better than the other colleges, why do they allow the other colleges to exist? Mm. Right? If if it's so important to go to college, so important to get that piece of paper, but you're flipping houses and doing podcasts, mm -hmm. I think not a waste. It was a great experience. But imagine if you would have been able to focus I agree. on exactly that. If that you you before you got to that point. And then you go to college to get a higher education, to get a higher paying job. <laughs> well, then if if you get the highest paying job, I remember when somebody went, man, if you go pro, man, you know, you don't have your degree, you're not gonna have anything to fall back on. Mm -hmm. That was, came out of the voice of somebody that always looking back. Mm -hmm. Like, this is life. Mm -hmm. You got to, man. And, and, and I see it, you know, I was out when you saw me Everybody out there selling. One thing I learned yesterday in the Vert Park is everybody was selling the same thing. Y'all gonna have to. They gonna have to. They gonna have to get some diversity. <laughs> <laughs> I have but so many uh, kute kinte dolls I can buy. Uh -huh. But um, it's it's that mentality to get out. Remember, yes, I was talking to the young lady in front before I met up with you, mm -hmm. selling lemonade, mm -hmm. and I was like, great, it's a grandmother's re grandma's recipe mm -hmm. right there. Great eco packaging, cold. Tastes great. Mm -hmm. Oh, one weekend she made 600 bones. Imagine if she was the only focused on that. Mm -hmm. If you can make 600 in that one day, oh my God. Imagine if you just focused on selling lemonade. Yeah. If you got into the farmer's markets, yeah. if for five days a week you went to farmer's markets that last five hours and sold lemonade and was able to make $100 an hour, why would you even think of any other job? There's not a lot of college jobs paying that.
Facts. And you only got to pay taxes on a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. you get a lot of cash. Uh, uh-huh. You got to watch how you spread that out. Yeah, facts. Ha- 